in jail. I've heard that jailers are paid a pittance, despite the hardships of their work. Then we'd best keep some coin on hand to ease our potential warders' suffering and make them an ally to our cause. You got a hankering for something? Let me know. Materials such as this can be combined to craft things. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Can't hear me complain about an early repose. It appears night has fallen while we slept. Step lively. Journey by starlight shall make for a nice change of pace. Oh, I don't know about you, but I am full of vim and vigor. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. All shall change once we have attended the coronation. If your majesty has any unfinished business to attend to, tis best you do so before we depart. Very well. The coronation is to take place on the morrow. We shall depart early in the morn, so your majesty would do well to get a good night's rest. your will. Could it be that the gods sway? We must quit this place, your majesty. I fear our plans may fall to naught. Let us return to the tavern. False sovereign commanded the pawns at the coronation, proving his own powers arisen. According to Regent King Sven, the pretender was wearing some sort of lavish necklace at the time. I imagine this artifact is the godsway mentioned in that letter. A chance it is a tool that grants power akin to that of the true arisen. It would do much to explain the events that we have beheld afore now. Alas, unless we find some way to unmake this godsway's power, Proving your majesty's legitimacy shall be difficult indeed. Allow me to speak to the agent we captured some days past. Perchance he knows aught of use. Never could I have imagined such an outcome. What manner of artifact is this Godsway? 
I suppose it's pointless to ponder. Let us await the results of Captain Brandt's investigation. That's just what I was thinking. issue falling asleep even at the sun may have fallen but the day is far from over step lively journey by starlight shall make for a nice change of pace shall we get underway there is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Pray, allow me time to search for a way forward. I shall inform your majesty when I have prepared a plan of action. Is there aught else you would speak of, your majesty? Do not forget that we work to serve the citizenry. so fast I can hardly keep you in my sights arisen no time to catch your breath try to keep up I've longed to embrace my bedroll. Now there's a worthy prize, if only twent so far away. Come take a look. You'll be glad you did. Do come again. Gather round. If I were you, Master, I'd not leave this unread. Let's have a look then. Fancy again? I don't find any Fine 
There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. If the information we pry from the agent is to be believed, there is a place in Batal devoted to the study of arts most queer. I believe it is worthy of investigation. Should fortune smile upon us, your majesty may even discover some method of undoing the godsway's hold over the pawns. Yet official dealings to experiment and Batal are suspended, and tis no simple matter to gain passage through the latter's fortress. Fortunately for us, however, the agent was hiding this on his person. I bid you take it. Tis an entry permit, allowing passage through Batal's fortress. It even bears the crest of the Batali Palace. It must have been commissioned by someone with great influence. I doubt any would dare impede your passage with such an item in your possession. There is one other thing, Your Majesty. With the permit came information I found most intriguing. An oracle who once served in the Vermondian court now resides in Batal. This oracle foretold the coming of the Arisen and was banished from the kingdom when her prophecy displeased the Queen Regent. Indeed, twas by this same oracle's power that the agent in question came to know of your majesty's whereabouts. The oracle knows much of the Arisen. Should you make her acquaintance, she may be able to offer you aid during your infiltration. I hope the day is treating you well. Can't say I have any tidings to share. Look, master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. My head hurts just thinking about it. This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint rest town. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. Understand Elvish, Master. I expect you'll find my talents useful should we encounter another speaker. I'm proud to have served Arisen. Shall we discuss tactics now or let? No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Griffin gets the worm, as they say. Oh. 
That's the spirit. We're hardly so destitute as to shun an ox cart services. What say we ride one to our destination? Have you not eyes to see my busy state? I do not waste my time on the laity. This lad. A merchant, eh? Have you an entry permit? Hold a moment. That cart has priority. Lord Phasus is come! Open the gates! Seek to enter Batal, I presume? I'll have to check your permit. Go on through. A little something, won't you? Hope to see you again. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. Browsing was enough to scratch the itch, in my case. yonder, just waiting to be harvested. Well spotted. Shall we see what we can find? Now, what might that be? Let us ponder how best to proceed. Ah, now here's a surprise. At least all our efforts weren't for naught. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this.
You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. So, after breaking free of the chains of slavery that once bound you to this land, you return of your own volition. This is good. I am relieved to see that you are fulfilling your charge. Now, it would be advantageous for you and your queen to visit the Rockmaster's borough in Bakbatal. Methinks it is where you will find that which you see. Farewell. Perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but I long to make things right after what transpired at the coronation. Shall we do as that personage suggested and make for the rock mouse's bunny? Ah! Allow me to show you the way. Ah! If you insist, I'm only really glad I don't have to lead the way for a change. Here! Strike there's lightning on your side! Paths to victory are myriad indeed, and that strategy never would have occurred to me. Unbelievable! Was this ox cart assailed? It is in a dreadful state. The work of goblins, mayhap. Caution would be wise, but we ought not let it halt us in our course. I expect this would fetch a fair sum at market. Perhaps fortune has deigned to aid us at last. Over here, if you would. I cannot 
Fault your prowess. So, the battle continues. That's a bad idea. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait a moment. Pray, follow me. We'll never get anywhere if all we do is rest. Let us return once we've grown tired from our labors. Success! Our combined might is beyond any fun! by the skin of our teeth. What fails to destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversaries. Let me get that. Hobgoblin! Lightning is its weakness and our strength. There can be no harm in bringing this along. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. Oh, 
your world. Won't make a difference when I've been you. See? We are none of us alike in vocation. It is a tad inconvenient that we can't share equipment. I see it as a glad thing. We are well poised to supplement each other's strengths. Well, we've eaten our fill. What say we settle our stomachs with a few hours sleep? I quite agree. Best we recuperate our strength before we set off again. Battle is best avoided here. Oh, it fell from the beast. 
it breathes its last. Summon aid. The fort is too late. Horsemen's over here. Help! I'm in need of aid! I'm not pressed. I need help! Hold your chance! Stay down your arms. Stay down your arms. Hope you weren't expecting mercy. All creatures who know death cling to life. I see no merit in taking down such acquaintances. Don't part. Be sure to avoid what you claim. Allow me. Wait a moment. That's enough. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. I'll not take that. Turn out your pocket. I'm taking it. Over here, if you please. I've got wares of every ilk. Hope to see you again ere long. I've just had a thought. Curious thing. One of my former masters chose to hire only women. I wonder why. I grant you lightning's fangs! I shan't allow any further harm to come to them.
Over here, if you would. Look out! Knackers! He cannot wear an icy stunning grip! Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. I'll keep them pinned down. to the thrill of victory. One cannot help but feel indomitable. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Hold back, and I can heal you with my magic. Wait a moment. by the river's edge. Not the best place for a soak, I must say. Really coming down. I count myself fortunate to be washed of the filth of the road. Allow me. Wait right there. 
spell poison. He's working its ill effects upon the arisen. Here! Strike with lightning on your side! What most effects? Gathering materials makes for dull work indeed. Evidently, it is a contraption that allows for travel betwixt two points. That does sound convenient. Contraptions like these are best used when and as we find them. There, master! Snackers! Fire won't do much good here. Best try a different time. Poison is a nasty affliction. Let my magic impede your weapon with the fury of the elements. My magics. Wait a moment. Yes, Master.
Ballista is a ranged weapon. Let us make use of this during battle. No doubt. Catch our foes unaware. One of us has been poisoned. Is a mechanism for falling freight, and it looks as if it could bear a significant load. Shall we hop on? We need to Shall we do with that personage and make for the rock mouse's bunker? Follow me. I will guide you to the location. The vanguard is yours. Be done. Hard one. We were overconfident in our abilities. It is a painful one. Welcome, sir. Doubly so if you're here to buy. Hope to see you again. in need of healing. Allow me. Wait right there. Might I be of assistance? I shall not fail you! a nasty affliction. I 
enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer... Hmm? Oh, I, I didn't see you there. I suppose I was preoccupied with my thoughts. Thoughts of you arisen, naturally. I'll do your bidding even in the pouring rain. If I must. It's ours. another task we were to see to somewhere nearby. When the mind is split, the heart must lead. Or oh, so I've learned. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. Save you! If you would! Say, have you seen any statues about? Solid stone ones, carved in the likeness of monsters. Tell is, quite a number of them were found not long ago, just west of the Agamemnon ruins. Here's the curious part, though. The things look damn near real. So real, in fact, that the collectors were willing to pay outlandish sums of gold for them. Would that I'd gotten my hands on one. I suppose I'll just have to hope there are more of them out there somewhere. The roads grow perilous and the prices of goods soar. Is there no end to our misfortunes? Do come again. My head will roll with water, sir. What do you think you're doing here? Me? I sell defensive equipment, as you can plainly see. Now, this hardly bears saying, but don't you dare try to take anything without paying for it first.
always a pleasure. Not buying? That's just as well. Just tell me what you need. And I'll see it done. You're welcome. Well met. You there. Have you a home in Batal? If not, well, look no further. As it so happens, I've wandered south. Now, I've noticed you tend to travel with pawns. Bold choice here in Batal. Well, they're ill-loved, though I thought you might prefer a home of your own to stay at, rather than a crowded inn. Well, what say you? Not feeling so keen, are you? Well, you'll not find a better deal elsewhere. Of that, I can assure you. Curative magics are at your... I've wares aplenty, as you can see. I hope to see you again. Good day. Hmm. Well met. I thank you for your patronage. I've wares aplenty, as you can see. I thank you for your patronage. Materials, eh? I shan't deny they have their uses. We have found a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. What business have you here? Extraordinary! you come from? The clerk send you? Oh no, he did, didn't he? I'm sorry. I I'm really, truly very sorry. I haven't slept a wink, I swear it. Well, I suppose I might have fallen asleep once or twice, but it isn't as if I've been lazing about. I simply haven't been able to devise any good ideas. I tell you, this arrangement has been an encumbrance on my mind from the very beginning. While I am glad that the old man appreciated my talents enough to commission me, it doesn't change the facts. I can only depict subjects that I've seen with my own two eyes, which makes things rather difficult, given the task at hand. Say, you appear a rather strapping sort. Would you be persuaded to bring me to a griffin? It will be well worth any trouble. Clark shall pay handsomely to see this done, and you'd be doing me a great boon besides... I've heard aught of a griffin's nesting place. 
I shall await you there. Do keep in mind, however, that you must needs drag the battle out if I am to complete my sketch. Of course, I, I could look as long as I pleased if you were to petrify the beast. Indeed. A beast frozen in place would be much more easily drawn. Tis said that a famed sculptor of Eld used a Medusa's severed head to petrify her subjects before sketching them. Of course, I wouldn't presume to demand aught so legendary of you, Arisen. I only ask that you aid me in completing my sketch as best as you are able. Then I shall depart at once. Pray, meet me at the foot of the Guerco mountain range, east of the rest town. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. I'm moving along. The bin. Pray, follow me. This way, Master. What business have you here? Does that make you the Arisen? Be at ease. I bear you no ill will. My name is Manella and I have the honor of serving as a go-between twixt Her Majesty and the Guard. Come, let me buy you a drink. We've much to discuss, and I don't fancy standing round all the while. Shall we make for the tavern? Over here, if you please. We've arrived, just as planned. The people of Batal view pawns with great prejudice. They're even forbidden from setting foot in the capital. Her Majesty, Empress Nadinya, has long been troubled by this custom, but a practice so ancient isn't easily overturned. Many are unhappy about the existence of this tavern, even though it lies outside the capital, simply because it was established as a place for pawns to gather. I know not what manner of person you are, but if you would aid me in my efforts to make the people of Batal more accepting of pawns, I would be glad to offer you a residence permit. It is a bargain more than fair, for those who hold such permits may remain in back Batal without having their activities questioned. What say you? Glad I am to hear it. Take this then. Simply show it to one of the sentries and you'll be granted entry to the capital. Oh, and if you encounter any troubled Batali along the way, I bid you assist them. They are harsh in their persecution of the pawns, but were they to be aided by the targets of their ire, mayhap a few stubborn hearts would soften. A simple plan, I know, but is the only one available, or so it seems to me. I bid you good fortune, Sir Arisen. Simply show it to one of the sentries and you'll be granted entry to the capital. Oh. And if you encounter any trouble, they are harsh in their persecution. A simple plan, I know, but is the only one available. Also, it can for me. I bid you good fortune.
stems from the forbidden magic of social poetry, which can be found here in the town. However, you would do well to first travel to the altar of the coast and seek a man named Ambrose. For as a researcher of this laboratory, he will doubtless be able to answer many of your questions. Would you take pity on me, sir? Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. They can be most convenient, though they only travel during the day. This rain ever let up. Curse our luck. Let us consider it a blessing from the heavens. It is as you say. by the skin of our teeth. What fails to destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversaries. Success. Our foe hasn't even noticed it's been pilfered. This seems a decent spot for a campsite. They have to rest when they
on your side. You truly are formidable, Arisen. Who are you? Uh, no, n never mind. It is of little import. I'm searching for blue crystal shards. Find any, and I'll pay you handsomely. The bigger they are, the higher your reward will be. I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. my first time clapping eyes on such an item. I expect my own master has yet to even discover it. I'd wager there's ought to be found here. We ought to take a closer look. Does finding these be so difficult? A splendid discovery. Well, have you found any blue crystal shards? Is that all? Tiny fragments such as these aren't nearly good enough. Still, I expect I'll find a use for them here. Take your coin and be gone. Tis a god's sway. Well, to be precise, the crystalline substance from which tis made. By refining such crystals, anyone can attain the power of the Arisen. The power to command pawns, that is. However, small fragments are meaningless. They cannot contend with the Arisen's power, you see. Speaking of which, should you find any large fragments, bring them to me, won't you? Though that might be difficult, we've scoured this area quite thoroughly, I should think. Tis possible larger shards may have been mistaken for jewels and carried off by scavengers or collectors or some such. Mayhap one such as the Oracle or the Dragonforged would be able to aid you in locating them. I can tell you no more than that. Tis possible larger shards may have been mistaken for jewels and carried off by scavengers or collectors. Mayhap one such as the Oracle or the... When are you planning to return? Am I to be left by the wayside? Sunset draws near. He is pricked. It will be difficult to pinpoint distant foes by sight alone.
the Arisen comes. Is this meeting also by the dragon's design? So long as ye retain your will, you'll find you're bound to it, and it to ye. The Godsway. Forgive me, but I've ne'er heard of such a thing. However, some years past, a sorcerer of Batar came to me seeking knowledge of the dragon, just as ye have. Faces, sir, I believed he called himself. It appeared his intent was to alter the will of the world through mortal means. Perhaps there is some connection. Then go. Since times of eld, dragon blood has been used to refine all manner of equipment. I might remember. Draconic blood flows through the veins of lesser drakes as well. Bring me what ye read. And I shall harness it to your benefit. Then I bid ye farewell. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. I've a knack for combining materials that I hope you'll find you. Since times of eld, dragon blood has been used to refine all. Remember. Draconic blood flows through the veins of lesser drakes. Then I bid ye farewell. Furthermore, oft do we call on you to carry the burdens we cannot. I must thank you. Tis done, Master. Now a fairy stone can whisk us here whensoever we desire. Phantasms draw near! Magics grant you an elemental boon. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait a moment.
This is generally used as a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. One might confidently call that a resounding victory. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. We cannot break it from this side. So it goes. 